Continuing with our discussion on vector algebra, let's take a look at vector multiplication. In this particular video, we take a look at scalar quantity multiplied with a vector quantity. There are three ways in which we can multiply vectors. We can multiply a vector quantity by a scalar quantity. And the answer will be a vector quantity. We can multiply a vector by another vector. And the answer is a scalar quantity. This is referred to as scalar product. In another process, we can multiply vector by another vector, and the answer is a vector quantity. We refer to this as vector product. First, we cover scalar and vector, vector multiplied by a scalar quantity. When multiplying a vector by a scalar, simply multiply the vector magnitude by the scalar magnitude. The direction of the final vector answer will be the direction of the original vector quantity, unless the scalar quantity is negative. Any negative sign will reverse the vector direction, as you will see in the examples part in the following slide. Unless the scalar quantity is equal to zero, the result of vector multiplied by scalar quantity is always a vector quantity. To illustrate what we just talked about, consider the following quantities. You have scalar A, 5 meters. Scalar B, negative 0.25 per second. You have vector A, 8 meters towards positive x direction. And then you have vector B expressed in unit vector notation. Vector B is equal to 3 meters i hat minus 2 meters j hat plus 3 meters k hat. First, let's multiply scalar A with vector A, A times vector A. You multiply the vector magnitude, the magnitude of A, by the magnitude of scalar A. So that's 5 times 8, 40. And note the unit, meter times meter, meter squared. So 40 meter squared will be the magnitude of the vector answer. Scalar A is positive, so the direction will be the direction of the original vector A unchanged because positive A, scalar A is positive, so towards positive X. So A times vector A will give you 40 meters squared towards positive x. If we multiply scalar quantity b with vector a, so b times vector a, again, multiply the magnitude of vector a with magnitude of the scalar quantity, 0.25 times 8 will give you 2 units will multiply per second times meter will give you meters per second. Scalar quantity B is negative, so that will reverse the vector direction. So instead of towards positive X, the final vector answer will be heading towards negative X. So B times vector A will give you 2 meters per second towards negative x. Now, when it comes to a vector quantity in unit vector form, 
just multiply the scalar quantity to each component of the vector, including any negative sign. So if we say, or if we look at scalar A times vector B, so A times vector B, multiply 5 meter, A is equal to 5 meters, multiply 5 meters to each component of vector B. 5 meters times 3 meters, I hat, will give you 15 meters squared, meter times meter, again, the units will also multiply. So, 15 meters squared, I hat. Negative 5 meters, sorry about that, 5 meters multiplied with negative 2 meters J hat will give you negative 10 meters squared J hat. And 5 meters times 3 meters K hat will give you 15 meters squared K hat. So, A times vector B will give you 15 meters squared I hat minus 10 meters squared J hat plus 15 meters squared k hat. If we multiply scalar b with vector b, we do the same thing, but this time take note of the negative sign of b that will also be distributed on the components of vector b. So, b times vector b will give you Negative 0.25 per second multiplied by 3 meters I hat will give you negative 0.75 meters per second I hat. Negative 0.25 per second multiplied by negative 2 meters J hat will give you positive 0.5 meters J hat and negative 0.25 per second multiplied by positive 3 meters k hat will give you minus 0.75 meters per second k hat. So there's a correction here. This should be 0.5 meters per second j hat. Okay? So again, the units must also multiply. So, per second times meters will give you meters per second. So, vector, the final vector answer, B times vector B will give you negative 0.75 meters per second I hat plus 0.5 meters per second J hat minus 0.75 meters per second K hat. And that's it for now. In the next video, we'll continue our discussion on vector multiplication. We'll take a look at scalar product. So thank you for watching.